All right, my babies, we got cut off. There was a lot of shit just going down. So energetically, I know we're moving into retrograde, but what in the holy fucking shit was that? It was like block, 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 block. Every time I was trying to like keep talking, whether it was a spam phone call, whether it was some bullshit fucking, you know, I don't know how these people have my number, but you know, voicemail, text mess, you know, all kinds of stuff. Camera notifications from, yeah, camera, here we go. Another camera notification from the outside. Mm. There is a lot going on and I don't know, a lot of distractions. I feel like it's an energy Scorpio of somebody trying to keep you distracted um, or a lot of distractions in regards to something here. Wanting you to be distracted, wanting you to feel distracted, wanting to distract you from some level of truth. Um, and I feel like, again, with it completely shutting off the way that it did just now, that the message that I'm getting in regards to this too is, is there's heavy energetic blocking, right? So heavy, it could be spell work, manipulation, something going on where somebody is not wanting a level of some type of a truth in regards to you or just for you or to something, something they don't want you to become aware of, okay? Or someone doesn't want you to become aware of. We've got somebody who's very upset, somebody who's dissatisfied with life, whether it's you or someone else, that energy is there. Uh, we have the energy of doing something risky, taking a chance, and then we also having a successful outcome to a problem. Um, we also have the, the card, excuse me, I have to tell you the truth because the lies have been eating me alive. Communication, shocking messages coming in. I regret ever starting shit with you. So I don't know if this is a family member, friend, whoever. Uh, there, this is, there's an energy also showing up. If it's not the same person here, it's just a different one. There's somebody who regrets uh, whatever it is here in a situation. Maybe something's gone too far. Um, and it says all the lies that, I, uh, that they told about you are being exposed. So this could be this person in regret cracked up, dissatisfied with life, not feeling good, right? Things are being exposed. This person is being maybe seen for who they are. Um, there's some type of a message that you're going to get, Scorpio. Somebody is taking a chance doing something risky doing this, but it, it is literally because the energy is literally eating them alive. Whatever this is, it's like this feeling in my stomach. It's just like every day. Oh, it's just like I know there's something... They got to tell you we're going to put the evil eye over it. So before I get started, hopefully we don't get cut off. That was like, I have no, I mean, I already tried to explain it to you, but to me, it just felt like I was being bombarded by phone calls, spam, uh, camera, da, 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 distraction, like all this interfering energy was coming at me, which was crazy. So I feel like it also has something to do with whatever the secret is, whatever this energy is, whatever's been lies that have been told about you. There's been a lot here of blocking in some way, shape or form energetically here in the situation. So if you would like to be notified every time I post a new video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, share your love and support. As always, guys, please keep it positive. Um, if you'd like a personal, I have a few coming out tonight. I have internet access here the next two days. Then, um, you know, I'm going to be taking a few days off to finish the move. So, um, please, um, you know, I have to get set up in the new space and just unpacked a little bit. So I probably won't be back until Monday. Um, but I will be, I am still accepting, you know, uh, personals and we'll be working through personals if you would like one in my free time, right? Just to kind of, you know, uh, keep in the loop with everybody too. So, you know, I'm going to take a few more, um, there might be a day, you know, like I said, probably Saturday where I won't be doing any, uh, maybe even Sunday. We'll see, but I will try to get a collective message in, in the morning, um, at least Saturday with you guys and check in and let everybody know who the winner is for my, um, donation drawing. So if you donate you, you, uh, to the channel or me, your name goes in a bucket hat, whatever, and you get a free 15 minute reading. Thank you to anybody that has donated. Um, again, if you'd like a personal, that information's in the description box below, how to make a payment and how to reach me. I do accept Venmo and Cash App and my email address is also in the description box. 
I do have a GoFundMe link set up. Thank you to anybody that has donated. You guys are amazing. Uh, we're having to make an emergency move for our safety and, um, you know, I've expressed a little bit about it. We've had some stuff go down that was crazy and really not fair, but it's, it's what's going down and I'm just trying to be as positive as possible about it, right? So we've had our car destroyed in the middle of it and all kinds of crap. So it's, it's been a lot of fun, but I've tried to stay extremely positive and I appreciate everybody that's shown love and support. Um, we are getting the heck out of here and we only have a little bit more money left, I think, to come up with. Um, we're so close with the amount that we need that we have on our GoFundMe. So if you're interested in donating, even if it was everybody that watched this video, donated a dollar, we would be out of here right when we're supposed to be on Friday. So. <laughs> it is there if you would like to help. I'm not forcing you. I'm not begging. I'm just saying if you follow me and you want to help us get there and get the heck out of here, um, it's there. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the reading, guys. I got made fun of yesterday. I got told I was something for even begging for money, which I'm not begging. That's why I said it's there if you want to. Um, I've been pretty transparent with everybody about what's going on with my life. And also I got to tell you what's going on because I'm going to have to pause and leave. And it just, it is what it is, right? And a lot of it too is honestly being vocal for my safety as well. So um, Scorpio, I love you guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the death card. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. This is your energy. <laughs> Whatever happens, if there is an ending here, just remember that there is going to be a successful outcome to the problem. There's going to be a death of a situation and a beginning, a new beginning and a new direction. Okay. I love seeing that come out. If you feel lonely right now with whatever's going on or isolated, or you felt like this, just know that you're never alone. Spirit is always with you when you're ready to connect universe, whatever it is that you are connecting to you, right? Um, and then indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So some of you could have been or could be um, being indecisive about something at this time. Um, whatever it is, here is indecision. This could also represent somebody else's energy in your life as well. Um, somebody is indecisive about something or has been in regards to you or you in regards to someone else's energy. What other messages do we have? All right, I just saw the Aries card and act. So through Aries season, which we're in, there's gonna be a lot of action. I feel like, you know, whatever this indecision is, could be in, in regards to a partnership. Um, there needs to be action, Spirit is saying, okay? Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides. What other messages do we have? in regards to this reading for Scorpio. Okay. So what we're doing, um, there's some things coming out. This person, whoever, okay, we've got root energy work, root chakra work that possibly is some root chakra energy cleansing that might need to be done. Um, also, this is, I feel like whatever this new beginning is, this is also to me representing like laying solid foundations down, right? Whatever it is that you're doing, this this indecisiveness, I feel like you need to let go of and, and stand firm and laying a level of solid foundations down and whatever, any, any connection, any direction that you're moving forward. Now with the number um, 51 could be significant. It doesn't have to be, but we have alliance here, um, forming an alliance. Um, this could be a friendship. This could be, you know, just uh, somebody that's got your back. I feel like this is whoever's coming to you with some sort of a truth, if you want my honest opinion. It feels like whoever has some type of a lie that's eating them alive. Um, this could be the indecision. Somebody feeling like scared to say something, indecisive about choosing a direction. But look, We've got forming an alliance, a group, a community. So I feel like it's really actually going to end up being a positive thing, Scorpio. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Confrontation. So for some of you, 
Um, it, there, it, it is confronting something. Okay. It's going to, it could even feel like a con, um, somebody, you know, coming to you and letting you know something it, it, you could even take it as a personal attack or feel confronted in some way, shape, shape or form, or this is how something's coming out. Maybe this is why, uh, maybe somebody's coming to you with some type of information. So there's not, um, confrontation in the situation here. Let's see what else is coming out. I've had to practice a whole lot of patience this week. It's just we've been in limbo and I've had to de depend on other people again, even just to get pads for my kid or like, you know, some bottle of water or, you know, a ride to get boxes. It's, you know, it's been, it's been, when I know I have to go, 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 I've had to really practice a lot of patience. So, um... There's something going on, I feel like, for you, too. Just this energy I'm picking up on with confrontation, confronting things, like having confronting things with a level of patience, right, is going to be really beneficial. Doing some root, root chakra cleansing. Um, it's like understanding that your voice has power in a situation, right? I guess the best example to, to use kind of with what I'm talking about and relating it, like your voice has power, right? So if I go around like whining and freaking out and crying, like, oh my God, I'm not going to get out of here. Somebody help me. You know what I mean? It's just like, okay, confronting a situation, but people are going to go running, right? If somebody that I know, I'm, if I'm freaking out like that. So I guess, you know, your voice has power, but use it, whatever that you're confronting right now in your life or whatever you're doing, understand there's power, but in a positive way, I feel like whatever you're confronting here. Um, I hope this analogy made some sort of sense. <laughs> I don't know. Um, look for hidden messages that signal a change is needed. So when can your voice has power, understand that here, you know, again, don't ignore the messages. If there's a situation where there needs to be change, don't be afraid to either confront the situation. And if it's not literally confronting the situation, it's confronting the situation in a way that you're like, all right, I need to step back from whatever this is. All right, this isn't possibly, you know, and your voice has power. If it's confronting a situation and saying, you know, whether it's, you know, backing out of a position, a relationship, some type of situation here where... I just, whatever it is, it's like, you're going to have to confront something here. Um, and understand that there's a change you're being, you're being shown that there's a change that needs to be made. And somehow with this energy Scorpio tying it all together, your voice does have power in getting this change, right? Whatever the change is that's needed to happen. Because remember, we have a, a successful outcome to a problem as well. Um, let's do overall energy for the tarot with this deck. Overall tarot energy for Scorpio in regards to this reading. What other overall energy do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Okay, way too many. Something about a Queen of Wands. There's a lot of drama maybe behind a Queen of Wands in the situation because there was almost a whole deck behind a Queen of Wands just now that wanted to pop out. Maybe a Queen of Wands has a lot to say to you. Maybe that's the confrontation. There's a Queen of Wands that wants to confront you in a situation. But we've got judgment here in the Queen of Swords. You could have a lot of air in your chart. Doesn't necessarily have to mean that. But this is Scorpio energy with the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this is making a decision. This is leaving old ways of thinking, behaviors, cutting things out that no longer serve us behind, right? Making decisions here, judgment with the Queen of Swords. This is an intense decision, right? This is like, all right, I've made up my decision and that is it. I'm moving in this direction, Scorpio. And and, I, and it's whether it's somebody confronting you in a situation or vice versa. Uh, that energy is here. 
intense energy Aries season this is now spirit is saying really tap into enjoying the moment whatever's going on it does feel like there's some chaos but you really need to again to raise your vibration through this whatever's going on tap into enjoying the moment more because you do have somebody being very bullheaded in a situation and this could be an energy in some way shape or form that needs to be set free whatever this energy is okay because that was right underneath this and spirit asking you to have faith right now have faith and trust in the universe whatever it is that you're setting free if you need to right that that, that you know it's putting your faith and trust in the universe that it's the right thing to do trusting the signs moving forward what other messages do we have for scorpio Okay, news of a birth and a business or opportunity. So this could be child, this could be business, opportunity. Take it however it resonate my resonates, my loves. Um, dealings or relationship with a man. This man could be, uh, have dark hair, brown, gray hair. Doesn't necessarily, necessarily have to be. He has long hair, but this is just a man. So we've got a masculine energy showing up. Um, two more. And then we've got a woman, dealings with a woman, <laughs> a relationship with a woman. And then we've got spiritual guidance and protection from harm. So we've got a few energies here and then an angel showing up in the middle saying that we have spiritual guidance guiding you and protecting you from harm at this time. Let's get into the love tarot because I know that's why we're here. What messages do we have for my lovely Scorpio? Person on Scorpio's mind messages do we have for my lovely Scorpios person on my lovely Scorpios mind at this time what are they thinking about Scorpio how are they thinking Scorpio they're looking at you in a really independent energy like I don't need nobody right how do they feel about Scorpio she does look very sexy though in this outfit so I do feel like uh, you know, it, it turns this person on, right? When they think about you or look at you like this. Now with the Ace of Swords in reverse, there is the energy here of being unsure how they feel. Why? Because you're guarded with the Seven of Wands. There's a lot of sexual chemistry, passion, but emotionally you're very guarded. So it's making this person feel unsure where this connection is even going, right? There's a, de a definitely sexual chemistry. Um, this could even be with the man and the woman in spiritual guidance, protection from harm. This could be a connection where, you know, you are being spiritually guided towards each other. This person feels unsure. You're, you've been way too guarded with them. Now, sexually, there's a lot. It's confusing. There's an intense sexual connection here. Maybe that's where the confusion is lying. It feels a little loud. That there's such an intense sexual connection here, but with the seven of wands, there's this defensive emotional energy. It's just kind of like, ugh. I feel like Scorpio or you or this person feels like this is more than just sex. There's a lot behind this. It almost feels like somebody's expressing emotion through sex, but then there's emotionally a wall up still too, making somebody feel confused here, unsure about how they feel about you or how you feel about them. All right, what will this person, what actions will this person be taking towards Scorpio in regards to this reading? Oh, shit. Page of Swords. Uh, Scorpio, if you don't let your guard down a little bit. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> this person might just like snap and I don't feel like it's in a bad way I just feel like they might be a little reactive or it's going to come out sideways you know I feel like they're going to get a little irritated with you for not like feel like they're like what is the deal I know you feel it or I know something's going on here why are you not expressing it what is the deal there might be something here where this person does something on impulse or gets into an impulsive energy that might even make you feel like they don't care but they're frustrated then we've got them it's like opposite end of the spectrum <laughs> taking bold action feeling like there's a chance here or hopeful and taking some type of action here towards uh so ugh. they're gonna come forward with the truth here about how they feel they want you they want you they want if it's been unclear this person wants you to know 
how they feel. Maybe they're, this person has been bullheaded, right? Maybe they were unclear. Here's the truth. Maybe the fact that they were unclear left you in this energy and they're tired of feeling unsure about you now is what it feels like. Yeah. They're worried there's somebody else involved too with the three of swords. All right. Um, Ten of pentacles. They're worried there could be somebody. Yeah, because you you could have backed away emotionally with the queen of cups. You know, if, if you don't feel it. If they're feeling like there isn't an emotional connection or there's some things going on here, they're worried that you could be committed or thinking about committing yourself somewhere else. Okay. All right. That was confusing. I hope it was helpful for someone though. I love you guys. Until next time, lots of love and light. It does feel like I said there were a lot of distractions going on some honesty that needs to come out for somebody in, in a certain situation, but these are collective messages. So different, it's going to resonate differently with everyone. I hope this was helpful. And like I said before, if you'd like a personal, I will be doing the next couple of days still. And if you would like to donate, that would be much appreciated. That information is in the description box below until next time. Bye.